Uh, one of the things is the opportunities that are coming up for uh, all our athletes or for the young people who are planning to uh, go on and uh, continue their post-secondary school. Again, the vision of the Manitoba African Cup of Nations or the other, you know, beliefs is like is to create opportunities for our young people. Uh, this is some things that uh, have already started been working on. Uh, we're trying to see on how we can build partnerships or uh, uh, building up relationship with uh, institutions, universities, colleges to offer uh, to offer scholarships, bursaries uh, to encourage our African people or African. We're not just here to train them to become great soccer players, but also to encourage them to pursue whatever they are uh, going after in life. So we have an opportunity that uh, we'll leave the link or we'll share the information below. Uh, uh, it's about Potege College. It's in, uh, in Alberta. It's a friend of mine. Uh, he's looking for athletes, girls team and boys team to go play. There's some scholarships available. Uh, again, uh, these are some opportunities that we want. Uh, so for you know, players who are interested into continuing on post-secondary school, you must be going to school to get these scholarships. Um, and you want to play soccer at the same time, which is something we're trying to create, opportunities in all areas, uh, so you can please reach out to us. Uh, the other thing, again, is uh, we really uh, encourage African communities um, and those who have expertise in different areas, either in marketing, uh, either in uh, uh, technology, even sports or even government, even non-profit organization, to please join the board to come, share your expertise. There's one thing that I believe, there is something we can learn from the elders and there's something the elders can learn from the youth. From the youth. So we must build that and close up that gap between. Because one of the biggest fear that I have is like if an elder person passed away in our community and has never shared all his uh, expertise or his knowledge to the rest of us, it's like a burning library. What we need is, I know our elders are retiring, some of them are going back home. Mm -hmm. uh, those who have been here for a long period of time, please share your expertise with us so we can build and have a legacy because what's the point if you don't mentor us or you don't teach us what you already know eventually when you retire all your knowledge retires with you and there's no sense of improvement yeah. what we need is if you have expertise in one area in government uh, in nonprofit organization and you want to see the next generation of african you know succeed in manitoba in any area please join the board join us so that we can work together to improve the lives of people and make impact and also to contribute to the what? To the Canadian people who are so generous enough to allow us to enjoy the freedom, uh, the uh, freedom, the resources of this country. So please, and we're not just here to take tech, but I believe that we have, uh, we can contribute think? something into this great uh, nation, you know? So that's again we're establishing an academy it's for everybody uh, and it's not just for Africans, it's for everybody because we believe also in giving back. We believe on making impacts in the First Nation people, into, um, into just in Filipino communities and everybody. So our academy is going to be free for all of them, for everybody. Uh, this is for the youth, 12 to 17 or 18. Everybody's welcome. It's free at church. We have coaches uh, with different kind of expertise. So please, please, again, what we are trying to do is to build and also to build something so we can give back as well. Thank you, and uh, thank you for having us here. And uh, we want you to check the Winnipeg Sports Activity YouTube, yes, and uh, you will see all the interviews there. And uh, thank you for having us here once again. Yeah, further on the most, I just want to take uh, time to thank each and every single one who made the success of Manitoba African Cup of Nations happen this year. It was a lot of volunteer hours and especially our brother uh, here from Winnipeg Sports Activities. He did a very fantastic job and if we're having an interview here again, it is because of his generosity of volunteering his time 
serving in the area of his expertise. And thank you very much again for having us. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you again in 2021.